May 26 is an important date for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. In 1997, it marked the delivery of the Bringing Them Home report into the history of forcible removal of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children from their families and community. That policy continued to cause great trauma for members of the Stolen Generation to this day. 20 years later, on May 26, 2017, over 250 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander leaders gathered together at the National Constitutional Convention at Uluru and issued the Uluru Statement from the Heart. It followed an unprecedented process of dialogue with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples across Australia. It recommended the enshrinement of the voice to Parliament in the Constitution as well as treaty and truth-telling. The injustice of the policy of removing children from their families continues today and is one of many injustices that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people want to be addressed. The Uluru Statement from the Heart proposes that its three recommendations provide a way for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples to be involved in overcoming the injustices from which they have suffered from the beginning of colonisation. In this year's social justice statement, Listen, Learn, Love, a new engagement with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, we hear from members of the National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Catholic Council, NATSIC, who speak directly about the history of injustice faced by the first peoples of this country and what needs to be done to right those wrongs. Recounting the impact of loss of land and culture, the experience of racism, the forcible removal of children, high incarceration and suicide rates, alcohol abuse and domestic violence, and poor outcomes in health, employment, housing and education is very painful. However, Amidst these challenges, the strength of perseverance and dignity demonstrated by the first Australians offer a glimmer of hope for the future where these injustices are overcome and their voices are heard and valued, paving the way for a more inclusive and equitable society. The way we in the church and in society address these painful matters must change if there is to be an end to centuries of injustice. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples need to be welcomed from the margins into the centre so that they can lead the discussions about change and implementation of actions to bring about healing and justice. An Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice is the mechanism proposed by the Uluru Statement from the Heart to make a start in bringing this about. While many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people support the voice, which is the focus of the 2023 referendum, some oppose it and propose a different way. Many Catholic organisations have expressed their support for the voice publicly. NATSIC has also expressed its support and have developed a website to help Catholics to understand issues and make an informed decision on the voice referendum. The bishops of Australia encourage all Catholics and people of goodwill to study this information and to participate in the many opportunities for learning and dialogue about the referendum. At the heart of this year's social justice statement is a call for all the people of God to embrace a new engagement with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. An engagement which involves a commitment to listen to our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander sisters and brothers and to learn from them. This listening and learning and the actions which flow from them must be grounded in a spirit of love if there is to be a change for the better. At the end of the statement, the Australian Catholic Bishops' Conference and the National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Catholic Council join in the calling for the spirit of love to be evident in our approach to be the voice referendum and beyond. Love is at the heart 
of our Christian calling. And we in the church, in embracing this commitment in our relationships with Australia's first peoples, can show our fellow Australians a better way that leads to healing and justice. Change is necessary if the hopes and aspirations of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples are to be realised. We can be at the forefront of a new era in Australia's public life. As one body in Christ, let us work together, drawing strength from the resilience and wisdom of First Australians by recognising their experiences and collaborating across boundaries. Let us listen and learn intently and love our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander sisters and brothers with great generosity and respect as we participate in the dialogue about the voice referendum and other important questions which will follow in the coming years.